The Weed of the Week brought to you by Show Me Shortline and the Richiger FlexiGrain Storage System. Affordable, flexible storage is here. Richiger R-Series bagger and unloader from Show Me Shortline. Maximize your profits with adaptable storage and management. Reduce storage costs and gain a competitive edge by selling at the right time. Visit us online at showmeshortline.com. Our Weed of the Week is dandelion, and Darren and I were just debating a little bit about the root size of dandelion. Darren said, you don't think it has a very big root system. I said, yeah, it does. It's got a huge root system. It's just it's straight down. It's a taproot. They're, they're huge roots. They get about as big as a carrot when those plants get fully developed. So you don't want them out in your yard. Now, when we're talking about yard spraying and what rates of herbicides to use, dandelion is one of those weeds. When I'm spraying with my backpack sprayer and I'm broadcast spraying across my whole yard, when I see those dandelions, I will stop and give them a little extra shot because see, and, of that monstrous root. And this is where Darren is totally wrong because <laughs> this is a lesson we learned back when we See, used to I, be on the bean rider. I want these if you, weeds dead. Yes, but if you give an extra shot, what happens to the herbicide? It just runs off. You put too much on there, it runs off. So what I suggest is you use less water and use a little higher concentration of spray. You don't need to douse that weed because it's just going to end up running off. If you've got lots of dandelions in your yard, use less water, use a little higher rate of 2,4-D. Well, the good thing about that approach is instead of running off and potentially hurting some grass right around the dandelion. You're using a small amount where hopefully you can stick all that spray in the dandelion. I will go out in Brian's yard this year and see how brown his yard is compared to how nice and healthy and green oh, mine is. Man. And we'll see who's don't, right. Don't, don't get too worried about this thing. If you use a little too much 2,4-D, so what? It would take an unbelievably high rate to actually kill the grass in your lawn. If you brown the grass up a little bit, no big deal. In fact, I like to do that. Then I know I've got a good strong rate of 2,4-D. Okay, we only there. talked about lawns. In fields, dandelion and maybe even more important, especially in no-till ground where you're not doing some tillage to rip those dandelions out. You really need to get after them in the fall. Use a strong rate of Roundup. It takes care of those dandelions. You don't have to fight them. Yeah, but Roundup spring. isn't real great in the fall. If you've already had your first hard killing frost, you might need to use some 2,4-D or dicamba, banville, something like that to do an even better job. Well, that's it for this week's Weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.